Hello guys and welcome to what will be an interesting episode for my channel about what's happening in Ukraine right now. I'm not going to bring up any articles or anything, I'm just going to talk generally about it. So, um, what to start with? Well, um, I think most people know that 150,000 troops are doing military drills outside the Ukraine. 150,000 troops, that's no small number of troops. The George W. Bush aircraft carrier has been sent to this region, also with, with a task force, with another aircraft carrier as well, I think, it's, yeah. And, um, oh gosh, and Russia's pipelines go through Ukraine, most of the natural gas pipelines to the west. Now, how is natural gas significant? Oh, it's become a very big market now. As you can see up in uh, northwestern USA, I think they had a natural gas e explosion there. And you can't even book a hotel or anything up there because it's so big and it's bringing a lot of money. <laughs> this is sad. This is Russian sphere influence. Sphere of influence territory. This is not the West's. This is Russian. And what have we... Uh, what, what has either the opposition pro uh, Prime Minister or the West done? Oh, they've extended their what, sphere of influence over to here. Over to Ukraine. And now there's separatist people within Ukraine to want to defect to Russia. And such, it might bring World War Three, Because then... Ukraine might see that if they do succeed in merging with Russia as a as war, declare war like um recently the um oh today they've announced that um they're going to elect a defense chief in Kiev. Opposition. And uh, NATO, NATO has given their, their firm backing to Ukraine. If any situation like this happens, we'll out war. So essentially, what this means is, if either side makes a move, or either side makes has a skirmish, or there might be a little skirmish on the border, then this just could potentially be World War Three. Set off a chain reaction. Russia will bring in China. China will bring in maybe India, it depends. Then NATO will go to the USA, bring in the USA. Uh, actually, Ch Russia might bring in some South African countries. They'll bring in us Australians, maybe the Indonesians, South Koreans, Japan. You can see how this chain can set off pretty rapidly. Because all NATO members are obliged to help other NATO members when attacked, or basically. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, basically. Yeah. Or if I screwed that up, basically it is um, military agreement between a bunch of countries to help each other. Militaries. Anyway. <sighs> I probably screwed up that. I do think but it's that and Putin's not saying anything because he can't does he want this situation to die down maybe but maybe not there was um I don't know who predicted in Russia but there was a prediction in Russia by some guys that um five days after the Sochi Olympic Games there will be world war and let's see if that's fulfilled in a day. From now, that is.
I don't know what to say what else. Russia also wants control of the Black Sea, which they have done for many years. They don't want another Crimean war happening. If you know anyone remembers that. Probably. This will probably not be like Georgia. Because they hadn't signed out on NATO deals to join oh join NATO. And NATO neither did come out and say we would support you. But they have with Ukraine. It's a sad day. Sad day for all of humanity. Whether there's something they come can um, agreement they can come to, I pretty much doubt it. Because, uh, um, sorry, um, there is no um, diplomacy between each other's side between Ukraine and Russia's side to sort this thing out. Just urging back and forth. <sighs> so, um, guys, if the uh, internet's taken down because of this, uh, thank you for all for watching my channel. I am uh, happy that you did. Not sort of a gay sense way or whatever you're thinking. Um, but in a nice way. Even if my channel's small, I still make some effect on people's lives. Even with my YouTube videos, even if they're crap. World War Three comes, comes to a head. Make your peace with God. <sighs> so, um. This has been Crap Sun 10 on a sorry night. Thank you for all, all for watching, guys. Who were deep. And this has been Crab Sun 10.